Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, dress soccer, only soccer. In this video, I'll be talking about and reviewing the match between OL Reign and the Washington Spirit. Yeah, another challenging match for the Reign team, but on the upside, it's a home game for the Reign team and this team usually does well playing at home. OL Reign on Wednesday, October 13th had a really, really rough game against... Um, the Portland Thorns, and I think Sunday, on um, Sunday they had a pretty tough game against the Chicago Red Stars. As for the Portland Thorns game, it was very lucky that the Rain were able to get that penalty, because if they didn't, it would have been a loss for OL Rain. I'm hoping the Rain team does come through tonight with a win. I'm kind of hoping they do better tonight because they looked off against the Thorns and also the Red Stars. I don't know what's going on with the Rain team. Like, I thought they could have been tired from playing the Red Stars Sunday and then having to go play Portland, um, then having to go to Portland to pay, play the Thorns. Yeah, so <laughs> I just thought it was because they had a busy, it's just because of the busy week, that's why they were off. Hopefully, though, OL Rain was able to rest up enough because they really need to perform tonight against the Washington Spirit. After all, this match against the Spirit isn't going to be an easy one. On to the OL Rain injury report. This is going to be short. <laughs> Besides Rosie White out with an excused absence, the rest of the Rain team is fit and healthy for tonight's match. Great. <laughs> Told you it was going to be short. Now let's get into the lineup. Standard 4-3-3, a little different tonight. Bukhari is still in the goal. Defenders, McNabb, Barnes, Cook, and Huerta. Midfield, we got Fishlock, Weatherhold, and Angelina. For forwards, Rapina, Lavelle, and Losomer. Rose Lavelle as a four, that's going to be interesting, but moving her up from midfield to the attack, allows for Fishlock and Angelina to be in the midfield. Angelina can be a midfielder or attacker. I think I heard in the game that they don't really she can play a lot of positions and they don't really know where to put her. But the point is Angelina can get goals either from the midfield or from the attack. And this is a good thing or an important thing because in this game it seems as though Harvey wants as much goal scoring potential in the midfield and attack. Weatherholt in the center midfield is good too because it could help with the defense. Um, Balser, Mario, and Quinn are listed as substitutes, which is also good. <laughs> I was kind of hoping those three would get to rest after having a busy week. Like, I kind of figured they wouldn't be playing in this, they wouldn't be starting in this match, I mean. Um... Yeah, so they're, they're probably resting until the second half. <laughs> but no rest for Hertha, Hertha or the back line. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting match. Hopefully, Rain will be able to get a win. Just to let you all know, I'm honestly kind of salty going into this game because I'm a Pride fan. And Orlando Pride was handed their fourth loss in a row. No playoffs for you. The Pride, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I'll feel better if OL Reign can get a lot of goals and maintain a lead. That being said, let's get into the first half. Okay, so first half we're off. Reign and Spear coming together for a moment of solidarity. After that, the game officially starts. One minute, Fishlock attempt caught by Bledsoe. Uh, don't stop pressing, Reign. You can do this. Three minutes, McNabb crosses. Lavelle slides in for the ball but couldn't get her foot on it. Four minutes, Rupino sends it up for Lavelle. Lavelle couldn't get to it. Holy shit, my ears. Um, Laura Harvey <laughs> yelled something, and it was really loud. And But I didn't know what she was yelling. <laughs> Five minutes, um, Losomer or Pino sends it up. Fishlaw couldn't reach it. Losomer is down, but she's okay. Six minutes, Huerta crosses, caught by Bledsoe. Seven minutes, Ashley Sanch... Sanchez of the Spirit shoots, Bukhari catches it and brings it down. Eight minutes, hatch attempt from outside goes over. 
Let's go, Rain. I know you can do this. Nine minutes. <laughs> Nine minutes. Listen, Mary. Time caught by Bledsoe. Bledsoe. Ten minutes. Rain corner. Nothing from it. Fishlock. Talking or, yeah, having an intense discussion with a ref. Not going to call it arguing. <laughs> um, Eleven minutes. Spear and call Spirit calling for a handball. Um, but Rain is fouled for a different reason. Twelve minutes. Rodman header attempt goes wide. Come on, Rain, let's go. <laughs> 13 minutes, Rain mistake. <laughs> Spirit attempt goes wide. Like, where is the Rain defense? Four minutes, Los Mayor attempt from distance, caught by Bledsoe. 15 minutes, Rain corner kick. Pino takes it, headed away. 16 minutes, Pino drives it in again, hits the side netting. Ball sent up to the Rain box, grabbed by Bukhari. 17 minutes, Hatch runs with the ball into the... Rain box, Alana Cook defends it away. Spirit corner, nothing from it. 18 minutes, spirit corner again. Buhadi blocked it, cleared. 19 minutes, Bailey attempt goes wide. Angelina, who were you passing to? Rose, why weren't you there? <laughs> 20 minutes, Hatch sends it in, headed away by Cook. 20 minutes, Sanchez attempt caught by Buhadi. 21 minutes, Los Somer crosses caught by Bledsoe. 22 minutes, spirit scores. Could, didn't see the player who took it. Spirit 1 0. And Bukhari, where were you? Actually, I shouldn't say that. I mean, she kind of came off her line and the ball went like up and over Bukhari. On the upside, <laughs> on the upside, even though Spirit scores, usually, usually Rain kicks into high gear at this point. 23 minutes Rodman attempt off the post or not. 25 minutes, good defending by Rain. Rose Lavelle needs to pay attention because she missed another pass by Angelina. 26 minutes, foul on a Rain player, not sure what happened. 27 minutes, Barnes, yellow card for grabbing Sanchez. Dangerous free kick outside the Rain box, cleared, kind of. 28 minutes, ball sent into the Rain box, caught by Bukhari. 30 minutes, weather hold attempt, easy catch for Bledsko. 31 minutes, Lavelle passes to O'Hare because why not? 31 minutes again, rain offsides. This is the second offsides call for rain. Like this is the end, this is an NWSL game, NWSL game guys, not a US Women's National Team game. Know the difference. 32 minutes, Rodman attempt goes wide, still in play. 33 minutes, Kelly O'Hara attempt from distance, caught by Bukhari. 36 minutes, Lavelle to Fishlock, Fishlock to Los Omer. Miscommunication, because I think Los Omer stepped over it or missed it. Uh, 37 minutes, Spirit attempt from distance, caught by Bukhari. Rain in the Spirit box, Herta crosses, headed away. 39 minutes, Fishlock attempt, caught by Bledsoe. Like, get the ball back, Rain. Spirit attempt kicked away by Cook Bukhari. <laughs> this was funny. So there was a spirit attempt at the goal. It was kicked away by Cook, but afterwards Bukhari still dove for it. That was awesome. <laughs> 40 minutes, Lavelle attempt from distance. Close. Off the post. 42 minutes, Herta attempt headed away. Comes down. Blocked by Bledsoe. Uh, 43 minutes, Rain corner. Caught by the goalkeeper again. Um, rain offsides again. Really? <laughs> 44 minutes. Lavelle to Fishlock. Fishlock attempt off target goes wide. 45 minutes. Whistle blown. First half end. Spirit 1 0. So, <laughs> I'm not mad at this point. I'm just disappointed. I mean, if I had to look on the bright side or if I had to say something good though. Rain is playing better than Orlando Pride, and they're doing better in this game than they were against the Portland Thorns. Like, Rain is getting opportunities, but they're just not finding the back of the net. Hopefully, the Rain team can come back in the second half. Like, OL Rain is known to come back and draw and win games in the second half. Hopefully, they can do that again. They have the players to do so. Speaking of players, Alana Cook looks really good tonight. Surprise, like, I'm still surprised she wasn't called up to the U.S. national team. Bukhari looks good as well. 
definitely an underrated keeper in the NWSL. Like, I'm surprised she wasn't called up to the French national team. Her and Los Omer not getting called up to the national team is just surprising. Anyway, in the second half, hopefully Rain can win or draw against the Spirit. I guess I would like to see Balser or Maro come on if they're up for it. <laughs> Maro, like, Maro goal equals Rain shirt. Yeah, let's get into the second half. So the second half we're off. Rain is starting off with substitutions. Angelina and Weatherholt out. Maro and Quinn in. Like I figured they would come in. I wasn't expecting it to be like at the start of the second half. Like I figured um kind of thought Harvey would put him bring him in like later on in the half. Anyway, so the game starts starts off, 46 minutes, Rapino crosses, caught by Bledsoe. 46 minutes, foul on Hirta, rain free kick. Rode her down after a challenge by Los Omer. <laughs> Los Omer, yellow card, spirit free kick. 50 minutes, spirit saying handball after hitting McNob McNob's hand, not given. Hatch grabbing, um, Hatch grabbing Alana Cook. Like, how is that not a foul? Like, the calls... The calls so far are questionable. 51 minutes, rain corner. Pino takes it caught by the goalkeeper. Fishlock, attempt from distance, way off target. Rodman, dangerous with the ball. Bukhari picks it up in time. Rapino, Lavelle, <laughs> and Loso Mare outside the spirit box, and nothing from it. <laughs> 55 minutes, Maro fouls hatch. Really? <laughs> I wonder if Harvey told Maro that she needs to be more aggressive. Because Maro usually doesn't foul people. And if she does foul someone, she's usually very apologetic about it. 56 minutes, Pino attempt goes wide. 57 minutes, rain fouls, I guess. Spirit free kick. Um, foul on Pino by the Spirit. 58 minutes, Hatch shoots from distance and scores. Spirit 2-0. Okay, so the announcers are hopeful, but I'm not. <laughs> 59 minutes, Lavelle attempt caught by Bledsoe. Um, 60 minutes, foul on Lavelle, rain free kick. 61 minutes, Rodman attempt, Bukhari dives for... Oh, this was an awesome save. So Rodman was very dangerous in the rain box. She made an attempt, Bukhari dives for it, but she still had the ball. And Fish Fishlock, like, runs from the midfield gets into the goal and is able to kick the ball out like how like how that was such an awesome save <laughs> anyway <laughs> maro attempt in the 62nd minute caught by bledsoe 63 minutes rodman is down but she's okay 64 minutes rotor um rotor grabs losomer and brings her down Foul, rain, free kick outside the box. Pino takes it, sends it wide. Um, 66 minutes, miscommunication between Maro and Los Somer. That's happening a lot. <laughs> uh, 67 minutes, Lavelle dispossessed. No surprise. 68 minutes, rain corner. Pino takes it, nothing from it. 69 minutes, rain substitution. Pino out, Balser in. 70th minute, rain corner. Lavelle takes it, nothing from it. McNobb crosses, soon after, kicked away. 72 minutes, Maro sends it up, Balser can't get to it. 75 minutes, Los Omer crosses, blocked. 67 minutes, Herta crosses, defended away. Lots of good defending by Rain. And nice to see the Rain team attacking and pressing, like, a lot. <laughs> 76 minutes, foul on Los Omer, Rain free kick. 77 minutes, Herta crosses, Los Omer couldn't get it in. 79 minutes, ball hits the ref, restart. 80th minute, Huerta crosses, too much behind it. 81 minutes, Rodman shoves Los Somer. Yellow card for Rodman, rain free kick. Mara takes it, headed away. 82 minutes, rain corner, lots of action in the spirit box. Um, Bledsoe, um, Bledsoe eventually grabs it. Why wasn't, why wasn't she called up to the national team? <laughs> 
83 minutes, rain corner kick, Mara takes it, deflected. 84 minutes, rain corner kick, again, Lavelle takes it, goes over. 84 minutes, rain substitution, fish lock out, Ali Watt in. 87 minutes, rain is still fighting, which is awesome. It's mainly them in possession at this point. 88 minute, Los Omer taps it up for Maro. Maro tried to go for it and shoot, but she ends up like kicking Bletsko in the stomach. And nice of Maro to make sure she's okay. Like that's how that is how, that's how she is. Like if she if she messes up or hurts a player, she usually will check on them and make sure they're okay. <laughs> 89 minutes, Herta crosses goes over. Four minutes of added time. Rain is still pressing. Like I appreciate the fight from this team. <laughs> Um, I'm really like I just really like watching this team play and I like that they're fighting like so hard for this game 91 minutes Lavelle shoots way off target 92 minutes speared attempt goes wide 93 minutes Los Omer attempt goes wide um, 94 minutes ball sent up for Los Omer speared keeper able to get it 95 minutes whistle blown second half and spirit wins 2-0 you know, I kind of thought I was going to be really pissed off and upset about the rain team losing, but not really. <laughs> like, they're still in the number two spot. The game was still good. I was salty about Pride losing, but seeing the rain team playing and fighting in this match lifted my spirits. <laughs> kind of sort of a little pun there. Anyway, the spirit... <laughs> Okay, the team, it's late, you guys. The team is still great, and I appreciate the fight and barrage of attacks from OL Reign. Honestly, even though they lost this game, they look better in this game, they look better in this game against the Spirit than against Portland. Like, more aggressive play, more pressing and attacking. I think if the team comes out fast in their upcoming games, it could throw off the opposing team and get... Uh, the rain team some early goals. I feel like it was just another off night for the rain team. Like they had opportunities but couldn't find the back of the net. Like Mara was even close too, but her foot found Bledsoe's midsection instead. Also, Bledsoe could, should be called up to the national team. She looked great tonight. Anyway, despite OL Rain losing this game, it was still very fun and exciting to watch. OL Reign is still a strong team, but they do have to work on playing under pressure. Under pressure. Their passing was um, better, but communication is a little off. Also, they need to work on getting their, shot, their shots on target. Also, shots from distance, also a bonus. I think Harvey is trying to get her players to do that as well. That being said, OL Reign's final season match is on Saturday, October 30th against Kansas City. Against Kansas City. And before you say, oh, that's going to be an easy win for Reign because Kansas City is like at the bottom of the league. Uh, no, it's not. Kansas City's defense is a pain in the ass. The, this team held Portland, the Portland Thorns, a number one team to a nil-nil draw and beat the Houston Dash 3-0. Like, they may be bottom of the league, but their defense is going to make the rain team work for their win. Maybe even a draw. <laughs> so, rain cannot be arrogant taking on Kansas City just because they're at the bottom of the standings. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight. It's, time, it's now time for the international soccer window. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.